All right, we are back for a brand new video review Saturday, and I am pretty excited about this, guys, because this is one of the items I have been trying to track down for a great many years. And what this is is the um, Mark and Brian promotional poster for Jason Goes to Hell. Now, for those of you that don't know the story, um, Mark and Brian work for a uh, radio station out in L.A. Uh, it's KLLS 95.5. And um, they were invited on to the set to play a couple of cops on Jason Goes to Hell. In fact, they have one of the really cool kills um, when uh, Robert Culp is uh, possessed and uh, the two cops kneel down to see if he's okay and then he grabs uh, both of their heads and bashes them together. In fact, this is the story that I wrote about, there they are right there, getting their faces bashed in. I wrote that story um, back in January on this particular website. Um, but uh, this is a normal size poster. Um, it's just like any other movie poster. It's um, 24 by 17, I believe that's what it is. Um, I could be wrong. <laughs> Actually, I think that's not right, but you get the idea. It is a normal size movie poster. Um, yeah, so um, Mark and Brian on the blade. Um, the artwork for Jason um, from this particular movie is pretty good. Um, there are some things missing. Um, you know, the mask isn't embedded into his skull like in the movie, but, you know, it's pretty good for what it is. Um, and if you even look down here, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but uh, right there it says uh, not for sale and then promotional use only. Might be a little fuzzy for you guys, but, um, yeah, so um, what they did is they um, had a big... Um, uh, promotional show uh, one day on the radio station where they um, invited a bunch of people out for the uh, the movie premiere. Um, Kane Hodder dressed up as Jason. Uh, he made an appearance. Um, in fact, if you guys have been on the website uh, for the last couple months or within the last couple months, I posted a story with a behind-the-scenes picture of Kane Hodder um, in makeup but without the hockey mask on. And uh, effects artist Bill Hunt mentioned to me that that he he's pretty sure that the pic that picture that he gave me of that behind the scenes image is from when he was getting Kane ready for um, that promotional date for the movie premiere, um, getting him in makeup. So a lot of this ties together, guys, and this is what it's all about for me personally. Um, I know everyone has their particular hobbies in, for the franchise and other movie series, but I'm I'm all about getting promotional materials. What you know, what was used to make the movies uh, known to the public. I just think they're great reference points. I think they tell a lot about the history of the series. And so for me personally, this is like getting this is a, a journey coming to an end for me here. Is getting this poster. It has not been easy. I've looked all over. I missed out on purchasing this a few times um, so to get this poster in this good a condition I mean there's literally I don't think there's any rips or tears or anything in this at all so um, and of course I was cute and I used various Jason Goes to Hell items to <laughs> get my poster laid out flat that's the movie magazine the, the original movie magazine and then I used the Japanese movie magazine to hold that and then I have Crash Cunningham's awesome awesome uh, replica Jason Goes to Hell mask. I have yet to see a better replica of this mask made outside of him. Maybe Lars 10 could make it a, a, as good a one if not rival it. Maybe even better. I'm not sure, but anyway. So that's it, guys. This is the Jason Goes to Hell promotional poster uh, for the uh, Mark and Brian show. And uh, let me know what you think, guys. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye.